Which room's Victoria's in? Read this week's edition of the Blackwell Totem. Seriously, who cares? Uh-huh. Fire alarm? At least that's an alarm from this century. Okay, I can't press that then. We'll bang for Jesus. Nice. Oh. It's open. And now for proof. Got posted book leaflets, laptop maybe. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo and for this nice shot. Boom, this is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. And how do I print? Doesn't say. Uh, that'll work. Um, take. Yoink. He's better convinced Juliet that Dana is innocent. I have a funny feeling Victoria is going to be behind this door. Huh. Play way too many games. And hey, I've got a prize for you. Juliet, I mean surprise. Read this. Excuse me again? Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. All right. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Desk. Flash drive take. Must Yoink. protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Ooh, nice Lord of the Rings reference. Oh, Warren. Don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this park and lot. I can count all the cars. The more I text, the longer I take. On my way. Bye. Two of the parking lots, which is this way. Alyssa, oops. This shit. Ow, that hurt. Damn, I better rewind. All right. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Fuck this shit. Ow, that okay, I'm guessing I'm talking to Alyssa then. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Ooh. This action will have consequences. Every action has a consequence. It's like that movie. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Um, take a photo. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. No one saw the flash. Not the DC superhero. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Huh. Maybe Max, I, should I should intervene. I stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. Let's do it. I could rewind and try something different. Yeah, doing it that way, though, is it really... Oh, there we go. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, do I, and leave me alone. Do I keep the picture if I rewind time? Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, 
Hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. God, what an a-hole. Oh, that Max, means that bum. Was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business. So it's gonna keep doing that every time I make a choice. Enjoying this game so far. It's been out for nearly two years, I believe. Hmm. And there's Warren. I have to walk the. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Hey, you into that? Max, get your ass over here. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. <laughs> Thanks. D no night. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. <laughs> but then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one <laughs> image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? <sighs> no, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. <laughs> or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. <sighs> Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? <laughs> so you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. How so? Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Oh god, <laughs> you need a sensitive woman to kick your ass. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. Uh -oh. Best tell me what you saw, now. Answer me, Nothing bitch. but a butterfly. You're full of shit. I'd respect you more if you told me the truth. I don't need your respect. You're clueless. You have no idea who I am or what I can do. Actually, I have a pretty good idea of who you are. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude. Oh, damn. Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Twin Peaks. Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! If you wanna live? What? Get your punk asses out of there now! 
Don't even try to run. Nobody. Me. Nobody. I think Warren needs to run. Oh, never mind. Security is there. He'll be fine. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt, and you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. <laughs> At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No, you were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Long ride? Two hours, I guess. Broken. <laughs> Man, are you serial? <laughs> wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. I think that's a stuff in parking. I'm sure that does say Twin Peaks. Or Twin per Perks? Parks? Parks? Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. <laughs>